Hey everybody, welcome back to the uh, journey to a better body with me, Roger, and my daughter Alexis. Uh, if you've been keeping track with uh, our progress so far, we have been doing a lot of fun stuff. We just finished her very first water fast, and she went 40 days, guys, which is insane for a first fast. Uh, my first fast, I did 30, and that was the most I ever did. But what comes next is equally or more important than the water fast itself. So in this video, we are going to go through how to refeed and get your body back woke up and processing food properly to prevent some pretty nasty side effects that can potentially come at you. How to refeed into a standard diet after an extended fast of more than 14 days. Day one, all liquids. Can't stress this enough. All liquids for day number one. And some examples are sitting here on the table. You have apple cider vinegar. I suggest for everyone that you take a spoonful of this, mix it in your water, and shoot it down. It's really good for helping you get the right kind of bacteria into your gut. And that's what refeeding does. It gets your gut and your digestive system back processing. So, apple cider vinegar, zero calories. You throw a spoonful in. Uh, if you can find the apple cider vinegar with mother, go with that. It's a bit better and they don't take all of the stuff out and filter it. So it looks kind of janky, tastes about the same, and has better benefits. So go with that first. A lot of people are going to tell you broth is the way to go. Now, I don't mind the taste of chicken broth. It tastes like salty water to me. I can't stand the taste of bone broth, but bone broth is more nutritious. It's better for you. I just don't like the taste, so I don't do it. Now, I'm going to link in the description everything that we do for this video okay so chicken broth bone broth this will help get your stuff moving all right any kind of green juices is great this has 60 calories a bottle it is cold pressed and what's inside here cucumber celery grapefruit green shard green leaf lettuce lemon kale spinach parsley mint tea all in a convenient little bottle, and I'll link to this in the, in the description also. This is your magic juice. Also, because we are transitioning back to foods, we want to have at least some protein our first day back. Premier Protein. These are the only shakes that I actually like the taste of. Don't get the chocolate. It's chalky. Everything else is awesome. When you come off a of fast, this shit is like melted ice cream, guys. You're going to love it. What I brought here is the caramel flavor. I bought a few different flavors for her. I try them all. Chocolate's the only one I don't like. Chocolate's the only one that I've ever tried. Ha! Yeah. Ha! So she tried the bad one, and she's like, I'm not going to drink those anymore. I just can't do it, Dad. It tastes like, like diarrhea chalk stuff. What's that? laxative Blech. so that's day number one day number two it's a good day for people that are going into a standard diet because day number two you get to add fruit back into your diet okay the fruits you're gonna add you want them to be all high in liquid content a lot of water content so grapes are wonderful these little cuties and oranges, equally wonderful. Grapefruits, which I don't have here. Watermelon, of course, which I don't have here. It's not seasoned, and I like mine to be super sweet and seedless. Uh, cool. uh -huh, you laughing at me? Of course I like seedless. I'll eat them with seeds too, but I just eat the seeds. I don't care. I'm crazy. I like watermelon so, so much. I bought one of those things. Like, yeah. I buy the big watermelons, it doesn't work for me. You get them little ones, you can do the thing. Yeah, okay. So, guys, that's what you're adding on day number two. Now, don't forget, day number one stuff, still free game. 
You can still do your protein shakes. This is not a, this is only day one thing. This is only day two. What we're basically doing is getting your body used to foods in a specific order of things so that come the end of it, your gut is smart, it's right, it's got the right bacteria, and you're healthy. Now, day number two, we add fruits. Day number three, today is a good day. Today you get to add back in yogurt. This stuff is amazing. And after fasting for more than two weeks, it's going to taste amazing. So you're adding in yogurt. You're also adding in jello. A lot of people like to add it early. Day three is where you add it. Don't trust them guys. Now I get mine with the little fruit pieces inside. And a great thing about it is it's a great snack for 20 calories. 20 calories. Yes. That is what you throw at the end of a meal, baby. Oh, yeah. Day number three, set aside. Day number four, today you're going to start adding back in actual veggies. You want to go with the leafy green veggies. So your cauliflowers, your broccoli, your spinach, and as she so happily said, olives. They're great. You can make this into a really fun salad. Well, they're not bad for you. Five little olives, 25 calories, and really good, healthy fats. Uh, for those of you that actually eat avocado, you'll add it to day number two. I don't like avocado. It tastes weird to me. Personal preference. We all have them. Day number five. Today, you get to add back cheese. Yes, cheese. And what's this in my other hand? Eggs. Yes. More protein. Mix them together, you have cheesy eggs. Yes. Now look at the meals you can make. Look at all of this good food you can eat after only five days. Yes. Day number six. My day. The meat day, yes, the meat day, pork chops, chicken, steak, it's so good, sausage, however not seasoned sausage, not yet. All of these meats can be added on day six, however, they cannot be added fried yet. Ask me what day seven is. What's day seven? Fried foods. You're back to your normal dietary eating. You can have some lightly fried foods. Don't go crazy. You just finished a fast and you want to keep that weight off. Also, day seven, you can start eating the spicier sausage and start working your way back up into the spicier palate. That's going to be my thing. I love spice. So, seven days from the time you start refeeding until you can eat basically anything you want. And from day eight forward, you can actually start eating real sugar again if that's what you want to go to. You want to have a cookie, have a cookie. If you want to have a little bit of ice cream, have a little bit of ice cream. Just don't do like my fat old ass and go bingy and just start eating it like it's no tomorrow. But then again, that's good for you guys because every time I get fat, I have to lose the weight again. Okay, guys, now that we have gone over what to eat on which days, let's talk about something that is just as important, how much to eat on each of the days. Now, luckily, every day doesn't have a different amount that you need to eat. The first day, you're just going to drink one little thing, a couple of cups, about every three, four hours. That's going to get your system awake. After that, you're going to eat small amounts every day as you stretch your stomach back out and get it ready to go. Now, as far as a calorie count, that's what's most important. You can eat until you feel slightly full or don't. That's a personal preference. But one thing that you do need to pay attention to is the calorie content in your food. I suggest getting an app. I have a Fitbit, so I use the Fitbit app. 
MyFitnessPal is another great one. Uh, they have a free version. They have a paid version that's not worth it in my opinion. Uh, there are just a lot of different calorie counting apps. I believe even Samsung has Samsung Health, the free app that you can use right there on your phone. So the first thing you need to do is you need to find out what your new resting metabolic rate or RMR is. Now, your RMR is going to be lower than it was before you started your fast because you have lost weight. As you lose weight, you burn less calories. Now your RMR is going to be uh, varied and affected by different things in your life, your age, your sex, the amount of muscle you have on your body. More muscle is a higher RMR. Less muscle, lower RMR. I'm going to link to a simple RMR calculator in the description. Go there, find your RMR. Now, once you have your RMR, you're going to eat 200 calories less than your RMR every day of the first week. Starting the second week, you will eat your RMR every day. For those of you that think, oh, I'm not going to eat that much, don't mess up your bodies. Alexis, what happened when you decided to do 200 calories a day for over a month? My RMR dropped remarkably, and you end up gaining the weight back after you how quickly? Very quickly, guys. Very, very quickly. Yes. Don't do it. It's stupid. Basically, what fasting does and why it's so great for the body is it puts our digestive system to sleep. And while it's sleeping, all the extra energy can be used to heal the insides of our body. When you are eating, you're processing food. Your body isn't sleeping. When you don't eat enough, you will lose weight, but if you don't eat enough, your body starts to scavenge from itself. It'll hit your muscle. That's why we fast through that. Second day in of a water fast, I don't know if you know this, there are a couple of hours where you actually get your muscle attacked before the body switches gears, gets into ketosis, and stays using fat as the primary fuel source. So for those of you that are constantly going back and forth, it's a good thing that you're constantly going back and forth. But if you were to stay at a low number intake like that, eventually you're just going to eat the majority of your muscle away. And that will make your RMR severely reduced. So, week one, 200 calories less than the calculated RMR from the app. Week two, your RMR almost exactly. After week four, now this is for a 14 day plus fast, after week four you go back to eating a normal amount, which for most people is RMR plus their daily burn minus what they want to lose for the day. So if we calculate that 3,500 calories is a pound of body weight, and your RMR is 2,000 calories, and you're burning 3,500 total calories, including the RMR, but you want to lose two pounds a week, you want to lose 1,000 calories a day, which means if you're burning 3,500 calories, to lose 1,000 calories a day means you eat a total of 2,500 calories. Now, we'll touch more on the math and science behind weight loss in another video. But for now, I just want to make sure that you understand that your RMR is the bare minimum you need to survive. Anything less, you're going to be eating your fat. If you go less than, say, 12 to 1,500 calories intake per day, your body is going to, at some point, be eating its own muscle. Be careful. And thank you for checking out our video. If you haven't already, please go ahead and click the like, comment, or subscribe button down below. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment in the post because I check about twice a day and I will answer you as best I can. Have a great day.